Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having when I'm doing something for a military group that is not a part of the local law enforcement, it might be hard for people to understand why I'm in a uniform. At the same time, people might need to understand why I'm in a uniform because people have been abusing my rights. I recently purchased some clothing, and what they did was turn my entire clothing into something brown. The clothes were black, and now they've been spray painted brown. They also are marvelously attacked all the time by flies. My guess is someone put some sort of bear scat on my clothing, or someone decided to abuse my clothing with spray paint. But openly they've done this to every stitch of clothing I have, which creates a view of hate. I'm not done anything in this community to create the right in someone to abuse me, and nor did I allow any biological sibling to touch my clothing. I don't trust them with that. I have several shirts that have been resized without my consent. I think I did a video a few days ago showing the abuse of my clothing of how things have been cut and ripped without my permission. You see, young people who are white like to play games in the night. Young people who are black roam around at night, and I've seen this. People of maturity do not abuse people's clothing, and they do not abuse people's faces. My beard, as I was discussing in the previous video, was grown for my faith. It's also grown for my own actuality, my own reality of me, my own presentation of me. It was much better than this, as many of my images will show, but I don't like one other thing, that since I work here and since I stay here, since I buy here and I lay here, I have found people who are a part of a company interfering with my lawful rights to use a Wi-Fi network without my rights being abused. You see, a man who's had a stroke will have a lazy eye. A man who's had a stroke will have difficulty pulling up his pants. A man who's had a stroke still has to work in life. But what I don't like is finding that videos that I've created are now being abused, edited, and there are photographs that I chose to highlight that video taken off. And if I say it, the idiots who think it's funny will just keep doing it. Now, do they have the right to impact my money? And the answer is no. Do they have the right to put money in my pockets when I'm sleeping? No. Do they have the right to take my wallet out of my pocket when I'm sleeping? No. But people like you think it's funny to do it. You challenge each other. You test each other. You, what's the word? I can't even remember. You screw around with each other. But here's what I tell you about the bastards who do this, the little boys who play on Wi-Fi and interfere with their rights. I guarantee the presidents of their companies didn't hire them to do that. What I mean by that is that everybody's got a job description. And if you're not doing your job while you're on the clock and you're abusing me at night and I only met you or saw you because you happen to wear your t-shirt or your company polo for that, you are totally liable to your company. Because otherwise, we would have never met.